first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. I want to say peace and salutations to you hopeful elect that are out here pushing this truth and this gospel with all sincerity, which are you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion the faces. Now with that, the reason that I'm making this quick hit video is because I was just watching on YouTube a video about how this guy who is in the, uh, Donald Trump's presidency's cabinet, he just ended and it's going to start, it's going to, over the next six to eight months, going to end the DACA program, that DACA program, which is that program, the Dreamer program in short. For those undocumented workers who came over here and they have children. And of course, we know who the majority of those undocumented workers are. They are Israelites. They are, they are Jakes. Whether they be Issacharites, whether they be Zebulon, uh, Simeon, uh, whatever. Those are the people who are going to be affected by this the most. And they're going to end that. So they're saying, just because you was because you were born over here, if your parents were undocumented, you have to go back to wherever you came from. So with that, I want to get a couple of scriptures out, just to prove that you mainly northern tribe people, you northern tribe Israelites, you are the Israelites. You need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You. Jacob's trouble is going to be for you too as well. And this first scripture I'm going to get is um, Exodus chapter 1, uh, starting at verse 1. Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob. And as I continue to read, it's going to tell you who those people are. Reuben, Northern Tribe. Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Southern Tribe. Issachar, Zebulon, and Benjamin. Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. So not only did the northern tribe, which would be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, were in captivity together, but also the northern tribe. You so-called Mexicans, you so-called Brazilians, Venezuelans, those are all bywords. Esau hate all of Israel. He hates Jacob, everything that came from Jacob. Um, continuing on, I'm going to go to... Um, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 33. This is going to be a quick hit, y'all. So this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 33, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. So this is two scriptures that prove that we are of the same people. Just because we have physical, our physical features aren't the same. The Most High has likened Israel to a speckled bird, meaning many different colors. And... The top tribe of the northern kingdom, which is Ephraim, has been compared to a cake unturned, according to the scriptures. Now, matter of fact, let me see. Let me see if I can find this real quick before I get to my main last scripture. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to just 
salaki about that. I'm going to just get my last scripture. So this is uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 14. For here we, Salakia, for here have we, that we meaning Israelites, no, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. So, you know, we don't have a place right now. We've been scattered all across the four corners of the earth. We quit following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. We have no continuing city right now, which is ours, but yet we seek one to come, and we're going to receive everything if you stand strong and endure to the end. So with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, and you confusing the faces need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. I'm going to give all praises to the Most High, who is Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we will. I want to say peace and salutations to you, Akim, that's out here pushing this gospel and all truthfulness and sincerity. And I'm going to keep nailing the hammer in, which are you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans as well as you confusing the faces. And with that, I want to say Shalom.